Alright guys, welcome to the Colosseum level. And this is quite a fun level, I guess. So you're going to come across this pool of water. There's going to be a croc that you might see. Yeah, go, it's probably best to shoot the croc while he can't get to you because he can do some damage if he takes a bite out of you. So after you dispose of the croc, you can then go for a swim and Laura's going to come over here. Can we get to see the front of the Roman Colosseum? Or or Greek Colosseum, I guess. And there's going to be a lion that spawns when you come out. Multi... Alright, so... What you can now do is you can come inside. So, you can look to your right, you, or you can go to your left. Be warned, if you go this way, uh, you're gonna. there's going to be another lion. Okay, that line did some major damage. Alright, so come up here. We're going to notice there's a switch, but it's blocked off by a gate. So we're not able to get there yet. Also, if you take the stairs to the right, well, you can't go this way. Because it's basically blocked off by rubble or, or whatever that stuff is supposed to be. So, go ahead and come back out this way. And we're going to go around the side. Oh, and there's another lion out here, so... Usually with the li lions, distance is your best friend. Because the lions don't move super fast in this game, and if you give yourself enough, enough distance, uh, you can shoot them and take them out before they can get to you. Alright, so come up here. Um, there's a ledge here that you can climb onto. Now, if you want to look behind, you're not going to see anything there. Alright, so go ahead and come around the front of the Colosseum. And you're going to see some ledges along the side that you can jump to. You can jump here. You can slide down. You can run and jump here. You actually want to go this way first because this is your first secret. The main route was to our left when we were back there. Alright, so just make sure you go this way first. Alright, so there's a flat tile over there that you can make a jump to. I would just get back a little bit and then do a running jump. Ooh yeah, landed successfully. Alright, so now... Actually, we can jump into this hole, and this is our main route. So, you're going to come this way, and there are going to be some crocs down below. Whether you kill them, it's optional. You don't have to do that. You know what, I will, because I want to claim the med pack. Alright, so... Go ahead and come down here and you get a med pack. Now this is also the area where you get secret number two, and I'll show you guys exactly where that is. We're going to want to climb back up this way. Come over here, you'll see a slit in the rock. Go ahead and grab the slit. Shimmy to your right. Eventually the opening in the rock is going to be big enough that Laura can climb up into it. And that's going to be where she's able to claim secret number two. <laughs> mm. 
Go ahead and grab the shotgun shells. This one's a little tricky to get out of because uh, Laura's not able to crawl in this game. And the the um, the rock is only high enough for her to go through in certain parts. So go ahead and come back out this way. Alright, so what you're going to notice is that there's basically a path down below that you can fall into. This is the switch behind the gate that we were not able to access earlier, so if you pull the switch, what it's going to do is open up the gate. I'm actually going to save real quick. I don't think you need to go back through that gate. So come out here and you're going to see some gorillas and some lions down below. Now be warned, there's Pierre over here and he may start shooting at you. Uh, you're really just wasting your time on Pierre because he's not going to count as a kill. And it is possible to just avoid him without having him get shots off on you, or at least not that many. So. Unless Pierre comes to your area, I would just ignore him, and then just deal with the animals. Oh, now he's coming over here, so we're going to want to shoot him as much as possible. So if you shoot Pierre enough, he's going to retreat, but you're not going to be able to kill him on this level. So basically, Pierre just is going to keep harassing you from time to time. Alright, so Laura can fall down here, but you want to give yourself enough distance. Alright, so... What you're going to notice is that there's this passage downstairs. Laura can back up. And she's going to notice that the passage is blocked off. So... We're not able to go that way yet, but there is a switch that you can pull to open the gate. Over here, there's another passage that's opened. If Laura runs through this passage, she's going to slide down a slope. There's going to be another lion in here that you'll have to dispose of as soon as possible. I'm just going to have to use a, a large mid pack. I mean, I've... I've lost too much health. So two shots in close range with a shotgun should kill it. Alright, so if you look over here, uh, you're not going to find anything. But over here is a switch that you'll pull. And when Laura pulls this switch, what that switch does is it opens up a gate on the other side of the Colosseum. The switch also spawned another lion, so... Um, and the switch... Um, So, let me see. Let's see if I can, I can remember how to get out of this real quick. Oh, there's another switch you have to pull. I, I didn't even see it. Like, I guess... I'm just blind today. So that switch opens up the gate, and we saw the gate from the other side a little bit earlier. So this is like your exit route, and this is the same pit that we were in earlier. Now make sure you get your shotgun out, because there is a lion. There's actually two more lions, so there's like three total that come from that switch. Alright, it's probably best you try to handle most of the enemies with your pistols. Because uh, we just don't have that many shotgun shells. Alright, so down here there's spikes. You do not want to go down there. It will be fatal. Although, we are going to go down there in this level, but it's going to be a different way. Alright, so there's another lion over here. Make sure you take care of him. All 
All right, so now come this way. The gate is opened, and this room is a little bit more tricky. All right, so there's nothing in that little alcove. But what's going to happen is you're going to step on this tile that looks distinguished from the others, and that's going to open up a gate. It's going to open up both the gates. So if you go through this gate, there's going to be a small med pack that you can pick up. Now, in here, there's another tile that you can stand on, and what that's going to do is it's going to open up the gate next to you. Now, be warned, the gates are timed. So, come over here, and there's a switch that you pull. I'm going to save real quick. Pull the switch, and basically it's going to open up the door over in this other room. But actually, what you have to do is step on this one first, and it's timed. So basically, that's going to open up the gate to the right. But then, we're going to come over here and go through this one, pulling this switch. You're going to want to roll and run, because you don't have a lot of time for this. And then, you're going to make it through the door just before it closes. So then, pull that switch, and then it's going to open up your exit door. Alright, so... In order to get out of here, it's easy. Just step on that tile, and it's going to open the gate. All right, so now what you're going to want to do is come through this door, and we're going to end up in the spiky pit that I recently told you not to jump down into. But look, we get to see what's down here, so... Yeah. So... Go ahead and go this way. Avoid the spikes if possible. Go ahead and jump up these ledges. Climb up. Alright, so the way Laura gets up from here is this way. Laura can come up that tile, even though it looks like she might slide. Alright, so what Laura's now going to notice is that she's up above the Colosseum, but she's on the other side. So, you might notice if if you're able to see the glitch, there are some shotgun shells up here that Laura can acquire. And if by some chance Laura wants to take a look at this way, well, we're basically going to seek some of the Colosseum seats. And we can get over there, but right now, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to save real quick. Alright, so Laura can angle herself about right here, and then what she can do is do a running jump and she'll make the ledge. Now, she can look in here, but I don't believe there's anything to pick up at the top of these steps. There isn't. Alright, so what Laura can do when she gets over here is turn this way, and then there's a ledge that she can jump to. Now, be warned, there are going to be some gorillas when you enter this next area. So, pull out your pistols immediately, and I recommend not standing too close to the edge, because they can knock you off. Alright, so you come over here, you're going to see a, like a set of double doors. You can't open those yet, but there is a movable block over here that you can pull out. Laura can pull this block out another space. So then there's this passageway. This is going to show you another switch. Uh, make sure you get the small med pack. I think pretty much everybody's going to see that. 
So pull the switch, and that's going to open up another door. So there is a key that you'll need. We're going to get the key a little bit later. It's a good thing we landed there. I almost overshot that jump. Alright, I'm going to save. Alright, so now just slide down. And then there's that spiky pit. Just make sure to go around it and avoid it. And then you can come up here. There's this block. Jump on that. Climb up. Go around these steps. Jump up. Take care of these two bats. They take one shot. Now come in here. There's a gate. It's going to close right away. There is a boulder trap. What you want to do is fall into that pit. And that's how you avoid it. Um... After Laura falls into the pit, she can climb up, and then she can go back this way. So Laura comes over here, there's like a slide. might notice we're circling around. Oh, but we have to pull this switch, so what this switch is going to do is it's going to open up another door. And I'll show you guys where that is in just a minute. So, then we're going to come down this way. And then come this way. If you see Pierre again, you probably don't want to bother... It's probably best to just pass up Pierre, because he's just a waste of time. So take care of the two bats that spawn. And then come in here. So we're going to enter this room with these ancient looking pillars. And actually, this is where we get our third secret. So when you back up against this pillar, like, back up against it, uh, that's going to open up a door above that gives you access to secret number three. This is a timed door. So you're going to want to jump forward here, side flip, back flip, side flip to the left, jump forward, and then run. I mean, I didn't quite do it. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, so go ahead and back up against this. The door's gonna open. Jump forward, side flip to the right, back flip, side flip to the left, jump forward and run in there, and you should make it. But the timing is tight, so you gotta be fast. So here you're gonna get a large med pack plus some Uzi clips. Here you're gonna get the magnums. This is where you get the magnums, so it is very important that you not miss this secret. So. What we can now do is go up to the door and it should open up. And now, for the main route, we'll run to this switch. We can pull it down. And that's going to open up another door. So I believe this is the part where you see Pierre again, I think. But I'm not going to mess with Pierre. I'm going to go this way. So this is the door we opened, and then this is uh, another switch we need to pull. Well, actually, you don't really need to pull it, but... Well, actually, actually you do, but come through here. 
there's gonna be this water. Come out here, there's a small med pack. After you grab the small med pack, come to this movable block. You can pull this out. Or actually, my bad, you need to push it in. Alright, so... That's going to give us access to this room, but you're going to want to pull this block over because I believe there's a passageway behind the block that you want to have access to as well. Normally, I'm always more tempted to pull a, a block than push it because I never know what's hiding behind it. But come over here, you're going to find the rusty key. And then, I guess you guys probably remember where I found the rusty key lock. So we're going to have to basically go back the way we came. So go ahead and fall down. Now there is another gorilla down below. You can take care of him up here if he gets in your range. Uh, if you get a couple of shots off on him from up here, it's probably safe. Oh, but there's a lion that spawns up here also, so you'll want to take care of the lion. And also, this is where we see Pierre. I, I don't even want to bother messing with Pierre, but yeah, he can get some shots off on you. But yeah, come down here. We injured the gorilla. It should take just a few more shots to take it out. I'm not going to even bother shooting at Pierre because he's just a waste of time. I just want him to get away from me. Alright, so... Now... Let me see. I'm going to save real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to want to go back this way. So go back through this door. You're going to go back under where the spiky trap is. Veer to your left, go through this corridor, go back up the rocky ledges that you went up before. Alright, so now we want to jump back this way. Walk to the ledge, back up, jump forward, grab the edge. Come over here, this is going to be where we use our key. The rusty key. So what that does is it opens up the gate for you. Now, you might notice that we opened up this door that's down here. Well, I'll show you guys what's in here first. Basically, there's a med pack, so... It wasn't really necessary to pull the switch, but I kind of feel it was necessary for some people, because some people that are taking a lot of damage and not getting all the secrets may want to get that med pack. So, go ahead and come down this way. There's a pool of water. Um... You're going to want to swim through this channel. There is going to be a croc, so what you might want to do is come out through this hole. And then there's going to be a switch that you pull. That switch is going to open up a door that's down this way. 
So you see that gate. That switch opens it, and I believe this is the end of the level. Alright guys, thank you for watching Coliseum. I got 23 kills, 13 pickups, and all 3 secrets. Took me less than 25 minutes to do the level, and the next level is going to be Palace Midas. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Stay tuned till next time. Thank you.